Yo, yeah. you, you know, your stories sound eerily familiar to mine because Arista Records, it was on 57th Street at the time. Yes, yes, with um, the gold doors. With the gold doors. And for anybody who's not familiar with the with uh the record industry in, in particular, Arista Records, Arista is a little different than every other record label because on every floor was a different department. Yes. So you could be on, I don't know, the fourth floor, that's publicity, the fifth floor might be um promo, the sixth floor might be A and R. So it was video. Sixth floor was video, ninth floor was A and R. There you go. Yeah. So for you to even, because I, I remember when I started, I was that was my first internship, and I was working in the publicity department. One of the things I hated about that that particular internship was because I never got to see any of the other departments. They had me yeah. like, in, in, so the fact they had me in this one cubicle office, and all I did was publicity all day, which I couldn't stand. But at least well, I was in the building. Exactly. So the fact exactly. You actually escaped. From from where? Matter of fact, what department did you start in? Uh, admin, admin with Karen Kwok, and I was like, wait okay. a minute. I was like, I thought this was the floor where the artists be. <laughs> and I was like, no, this is A and R admin. That's A and R creative. That's on the ninth floor. I'm like, I'm on the wrong floor, nigga. But I'm working already, <laughs> so it's like I don't know what I'm gonna do. Then I got a, I got wind that somebody they needed people dubbing videos on the on the video floor. So I was like, I I, I got myself into that floor. So I, that's when I ended up going to six. And then from the six, I was like, this is still like this still ain't the floor, bro. So I used to see Pharrell and Pitts and them. They used to be coming down to the floor, like doing stuff. And I'm like, who is them niggas, man? So then all of a sudden I'm like, I got I got to get on this ninth floor. I'm hearing about the ninth floor too much. I got to get on ninth floor. That's where LA Reed is. I'm like, so I got my boy from uh Lenny. I forgot Lenny's last name, but uh Lenny gave me a um let me do his let me do his little run. He had a little mail run he did, and he's like, you he's like, I gotta leave. Can you wanna do that mail run you always be asking me about? I was like, hell yeah. So he gave me the shit. I was delivering, putting stuff on niggas' desks, and that's how I got on the ninth floor. And I was looking around, like, oh my God, this is the floor I've been looking for. And that's when I saw Pitts in his office. The only person at work was Pitts. He was in his office listening to music, and I, I just looked in his office, and that's when I was just stuck. And he was like, Hello, nigga, what you looking at? Nigga, I was like, Puff. <laughs> So you I literally introduced yourself to Pitts. To, and, and for anybody who don't know, we talk about Mark Pitts. Yeah, Shout out Mark, to my boy, yeah, Mark Gooch. Pitts. What up, Gooch? There That's you go. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. met Mark by doing a mail run on, yes. on the ninth floor. Yes. I looked in his office. He was the only one up there. Because I was just looking around, look, peeking in niggas' offices when nobody there. And I did. I rolled up on this one office playing music. And I was just looking in there. I was like, and he was just in there listening to music. And I just like, he turned around. I was like, that's cool. I'm like, working here. <laughs> so yeah, he told me I'm not Puff, bro. I was like, who are you? He's like, I'm Mark Pitts. I used to manage Biggie. I did, but Puff is my brother. He started telling me his history, and I'm just looking at him like, what? I'm like, bro, can I work for you, bro? Please. I was like, I'll do it. I'll do whatever you need me to do. I'm sweeping this hole. You know what I'm saying? He was like, he was like, well, you crazy? You funny? So he told me he's like, you know what? Go down there and tell him that you can come work for me. You he's like, I'm, 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 fuck, I'm messing with your energy. He's like, go down there and tell him you can come up and work for me. And that's how I ended up on the couple of days later. I was up there working for Mark, and I just told all the all the A and Rs. I'm like, whatever you need me to do, I'm doing it. Let's let's go. I'll that's a that dope video. story. Yeah, so that's how I got up there, man. Yeah, that's a dope that's dope story. <laughs> that's okay. exactly how it happened. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so at the time you got up there, what were the artists they was messing with at that time? When I first got up there, it was, uh, of course, Usher. It was all the whole little face. It was uh, TLC. It was Tony Braxton. It was, well, Mark, Mark was working. Mark was doing, um, he, he was doing this thing called Aristocats. And Mark yep. had, uh, he had Rob, uh, what was that dude named? Rob something. He was from Kentucky. I forgot he was like a Kentucky artist. But then he had Blue Cantrell. He had, um. There was so many things going on, bro. I couldn't even understand. It was Young Bloods. It was uh just all these different. It was all these different artists. I just couldn't believe. It. Whitney Houston still was at the time. That was Arista. That was that was still Clive Davis. And um, yeah, it was it was it was it was a lot going on, bro. And I just was like, I was just so happy to be up there because I had I was just watching all these people on TV. Bad Boy, I think was Bad Boy still Arista at the time. I don't know. Yeah, no, we were still Arista. It was still no, we were still Arista yeah, yeah. at so, the time. Yeah, so I was yeah, so I just was up there and I was like. This is this is where I, this is where I belong. I'm not leaving this floor. So I was kind of back and forth working at Home Depot, 
coming to work, working for free, you know, just they was like, how are you at everything? But I'm like, I'm telling them I got a job on the side at Home Depot there. Nobody knows I work at Home Depot. I'm like, you know, selling a little some some here and there on the streets here and there, just in New York, just making it. I got friends that's like, you be going up to that label every day, niggas ain't paying you, you tripping, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm good, bro. It don't matter. I'm not, I ain't going back to Memphis. I, I'm staying until I get some. I'm leaving here with some. Denzel, nigga. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.